Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and it's Tuesday, so that means it's pajama story time. So do you have something snuggly on? I have a snuggly robe on here. It's nice and comfy. You could have some snuggly slippers on or a blanket or a stuffed animal or a pillow or anything that makes you comfy to get ready for pajama story time. You ready for our, our new jazzy opening song? Ready? The moon is up. It's getting late. Let's get ready to celebrate. It's pajama time. Oh, it's pajama time. Pull on the bottoms, put on the top. Get yourself set to pajama de bop. It's pajama time. Oh, it's pajama time. Pajama to the left, pajama to the right. Everybody's wearing them for stories tonight. It's pajama time. Hush, hush, it's pajama time. Hush, hush, it's pajama time. Shh. Perfect. We're ready for our first story. So let me move myself over a little bit so we can get the whole book in. Our first story tonight is Red, a crayon story by Michael Hall. He was red. But he wasn't very good at it. Oh dear. Look at that. It looks like whatever he's drawing is not red, it's blue. Hmm. His teacher thought he needed more practice. I'll draw a red strawberry, then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really. But he couldn't, really. Like this? Oh my, let's try again. His mother thought he needed to mix with the other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? A really big one, a really orange one. But they made a big greenish one. Yuck. Oops. Because what happens when you mix yellow and blue? You get green. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents night. Wear this warm red scarf. Nice. It's so you. But it so wasn't. Oh, dear me. There's red in his self-portrait. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Amber said, Sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all. Hazelnut said, don't be silly. It says red on his label. Cocoa Bean said, he came that way from the factory. Fuchsia said, frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Grape said, well, I think he's lazy. Army Green said, right, he's got to press harder. Steel Gray said, really apply himself. Sunshine said, give him time, he'll catch on. And Sea Green said, of course he will. But he didn't catch on. The green frog, a black sheep, a brown cow, and a red ant. A red ant? Hmm. All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. So he put a little piece of tape on him and he says, this will help hold you together. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. He is sharpening him. But even with all our help and all his hard work, blue hearts, blue cherries, blue foxes, blue toenails, 
he just couldn't get the hang of it. Here's a stoplight. You have green, yellow, and whoops, it should be red. One day, he met a new friend, Barry. Will you make a blue ocean for my boat? I can't. I'm red. Well, will you try? So he did. Thank you. It's perfect. You're welcome. It was easy. Look, he made a blue ocean. And he didn't stop there. Blue bells, blue bird, blue jeans, blue whale, blue berry. I'm blue! He was blue and everyone was talking. My son is brilliant. Who could have known he was blue? I always said he was blue. It was obvious. His blue ocean really lifted me. All of his work makes me happy. His blue strawberries are my favorite. He's so intense. I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one. I hear he's working on a huge new project. He, he's really reaching for the sky. And he really was. The end. I hope you liked that. That was read by Michael Hall, a crayon story. The nice lesson that sometimes what you are on the outside is not what you are on the inside. So be yourself. And since we did a color story, let's do a color song. So I don't know if you've done this one before, but I sing a verse and then you try to rhyme the word with the last word I say. So it's going to be a color. You're going to say a color that rhymes with the last word that I say. So we got to start by clapping out, getting our timing down. This is the color song. Come on and sing along. Even if you sing it wrong, sing it loud and sing it strong. At the end of every line, say the color that would rhyme. There's a few you might not know. It gets harder as you go. Ready for the first verse? I feel new when I see. Now this is when you say blue. I feel serene when I see green. I go to bed when I see red. I open the door hinge when I see, this is a tough one, door hinge. Cause nothing really rhymes much with orange. So door hinge. I open the door hinge when I see orange. This is the color song, come on and sing along. Even if you sing it wrong, sing it loud and sing it strong. At the end of every line, say the color that would rhyme. There's a few you might not know, it gets harder as you go. Okay, now it does get a little harder. Ready? I feel delight when I see white. I feel mellow when I see yellow. I have to purple when I see purple. Nothing really rhymes with purple, so purple. I open the door hinge when I see, I open the door hinge when I see orange. And that's all. How'd you do? Did you guess them? Yeah, it goes on for a couple more verses, but it's, it's a lot to memorize. Yeah, so maybe we'll try the next couple of verses the next time. So I have a different type of story for you tonight. It is a shine the light book. This is Secrets of the Vegetable Garden. So I'm gonna read the pages and then I'm gonna shine a light behind the page so you can see the mystery photo behind it. This is by Karen Brown and Giordano Poloni. Secrets of the Vegetable Garden. Secrets of the Vegetable Garden. 
A vegetable garden grows under the sun. If you look closely between the stalks, beneath the leaves, and in the soil, you will see the animals and plants living there. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it to the light to reveal what is hidden in and around the vegetable garden. Discover a small world of great surprises. The seed of a tomato plant has been sown in the soil in a pot. When it has grown into a seedling, it will be planted outside. What three things does the seed need to grow? Let's see. Oh, there's the seeds. There's water. Splish, splash, sploosh. The seed needs water, warmth, and soil to grow. Squawk! Birds eating seeds planted in the garden take to the air. Why are they flying away? Let's see. Whoa. What's this here? It looks like... A scarecrow stands tall in the garden. It looks like a person, which scares the birds away from the seeds. The, the tomato plant's roots grow strong under the soil. Which creatures are in the soil? What do we see? Worms break down leaves and pieces of dead plants. This makes food for growing plants. Wriggle! Rabbits like to eat the weeds that grow in the garden. The gardener pulls the weeds out because the vegetables need space to grow. Can you see the gardener's tools? Let's see if we can find the gardener's tools. What do we see? We see a shovel, a watering pail, a rake. Creak! The gardener keeps tools in the shed. There's a spade for digging, a trowel for planting, a watering can for watering, and a rake for smoothing soil. New leaves on the tomato plant reach up toward the sun. Who is sheltering under the leaves? Let's see. Oh, what do we see? Two ladybugs have flown to the green leaves. They are spotted beetles with wings. Silky threads catch the light. Who could have made this web? Who do you think? What's that? That looks like a spider. A spider pulls silk from inside her body to weave a web. The silk is sticky and strong to catch insects for her dinner. The pitter-patter of rain falls on the soil and plants, helping them grow. Which animals feed in the rain? What do we got? They look like some snails and slugs. Snails and slugs come out in the rain. They eat the leafy vegetables. Gardeners do not like animals eating the vegetables. They can protect the plants with special sprays or nets. What's inside this cloach? What does that look like? Oh, and what's on the top there? It's lettuce. The gardener has covered it to protect it from snails and slugs. Small insects called aphids like to eat the juicy leaves, but another animal likes to eat the aphids. Can you see what it is? Whoa. What's that? Birds like this thrush peck insects off the plants. The tomato plant has grown flowers. Bees carry pollen from one flower to another. This helps the tomatoes grow. Where is the pollen? Can you see? A bumblebee picks up sticky pollen on its furry body. It visits the sweet smelling flowers to sip nectar. Bzzz. This plant is growing tall. Its tendrils twist around the trellis. What is growing in the pods? Can you see? 
there are peas growing in the pods. Green tomatoes are growing where the flowers once were. The leafy plants nearby were all, are also growing vegetables. Can you see where they are? Whoa, look. There's all sorts underground. Potatoes and carrots grow under the ground. Pumpkins and zucchini grow above the soil. Who is nibbling a pumpkin leaf? Let's see what we find. Let's see, nothing there. No, oh! There's something nibbling a pumpkin leaf. A mouse is snacking on a tasty leaf. Small animals find plenty to eat in a fruit and vegetable garden. Squeak! The vegetables and fruit are being harvested. Can you see what's in the wheelbarrow? Oh, it looks like we got all sorts of things in there. Carrots, pumpkins, lettuce, tomatoes. There are tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, cabbages, zucchini, and a pumpkin. Yum! The harvested tomatoes are red and ripe. Look inside the fruit. Pretty cool. The tomato is full of seeds. Each seed can grow a new tomato plant. Some tomato seeds are saved so they, they can become new plants. The rest of the tomatoes are chopped into a salad with some lettuce. The vegetable garden will grow until, until fall. In spring, it will be time to sow seeds again. Anything there? Nope, nothing there. And there's more. The end. That was Secrets of the Vegetable Garden. Pretty cool. So, since we just read a book about fruits and vegetables, let's do a song about vegetables. Let's do the banana song. So ready? Take your banana shape. You can go this way. Oh, you can go this way. Or you can just do this way. Ready? Bananas unite and peel. Bananas peel, peel, bananas and peel. Bananas peel, peel, bananas and chop. Bananas chop, chop, bananas and chop. Bananas, chop, chop, bananas, and smash. Bananas, smash, smash, bananas, and smash. Bananas, smash, smash, bananas, and eat. Bananas, eat, eat, bananas, and eat. Bananas, eat, eat, bananas, and throw. Bananas, throw, throw, bananas, and throw. Bananas, throw, throw, bananas, and ninja. Bananas, ninja. Bananas and ninja, bananas, ninja, bananas, and go bananas! Whew. That is whew, an exhausting song to do. <laughs> but I like bananas. I have one almost every day in my smoothie. So I think it is time now for our silly lullaby. So do you have something to snuggle with? Do you have a stuffed animal or your blanket or a sibling or a grown up or yourself there? I think I will snuggle with Gerald. I think Gerald and I will do our silly lullaby by Sandra Boynton. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fipsy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, it's time to say achoo. The chickens in the bathtub, the closet full of sheep. The sneakers in the freezer are drifting off to sleep. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, the owl is whispering moo. And with that, we say good night. And thank you so much for joining me for Pajama Story Time. I hope you liked our stories and songs tonight. And I hope to see you again next week. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. 
So because it's June, we are going to be starting our summer programs soon. Registration for the summer program starts now. So you can go onto our website or you can go onto the delcolibraries.org website to sign up for Beanstack. It's an online program. It's what we're gonna be using this year to do our summer reading. There is lots of badges that you can earn and activities that you can do, and you'll also keep your reading log through there as well. Our official start to our summer programs at Haverford Township Free Library is gonna be on June 15th. So that's when all of our new programs and our new story times are going to start. And that's when you'll start officially start logging your reading. So go to our website or go to delcolibraries.org to sign up for Imagine Your Story on Beanstack. I hope you do it. It's gonna be different this year because everything's gonna be online, but it's going to be a lot of fun as well. So see you soon, bye.